What is up guys, Link Bricks here, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, LEGO Star Wars UCS Luke's Land Speed, which is coming out next year in 2022. I'm going to be going over everything we know about it, all my predictions for it, so like prices and whatnot, and it's going to be a fun little video. So yeah, let's get into it. Actually, before we even get into it, I actually have an Instagram page linked in the description, which you should go follow to stay updated on my LEGO videos and whatnot, and you know when they're coming out and whatnot. Yeah, just go, go check it out. And also, before we even talk about anything, we need to talk about the problems with this set coming out. For one, it's too soon for another LEGO Luke's Land Speeder. We've, we have like, we have a LEGO Luke's Land Speeder every two years, and it's like the second year now, but it's a lot of LEGO Luke's Land Speeders that they're just taking up a slot on. And the fact it's UCS, that just makes it seem like a meme. And LEGO's supposed to be a professional company, and it's like, almost like they know that this is a meme. And coming from their brand of like, a prof only the best is enough, they're making a UCS Luke's Land Speeder. It's just, that just doesn't sit well with me. But anyway, let's get into the actual facts about it. Alright, so price, it's probably going to cost around $359, so I think the 2021 LEGO UCS gunship that we got this year, it'll probably be around that price, it'll have the same amount of minifigures, it'll be upscaled like, probably around the same amount, it won't, obviously they won't be scale of each other, because this thing is going to be massive, which we can move on to the size now, so the size of this uh, UCS Lantern is going to be pretty large, it'll be like, yeah, it won't be the, it won't have the height of the gunship, but it'll have the width. It'll be nice and big, flatly. It'll really cover a large distance, like, like a flat dinner plate. It'll be like that, or probably way bigger. Playability, however, uh, you're obviously not going to be able to sit your minifigures in the seats without it looking weird. You'll be able to, like, maybe swoosh it around a bit? I don't know, it's going to be pretty big. It'll obviously have a stand and a plaque to go on the stand so you can read about it, and it'll say, like, Luke's Land Speeder, first seen 40 years ago. Now we make one every two years, <laughs> something around those lines. Chet, minifigures? Uh, there's a real problem with these minifigures as well. It's like the gunship, they're gonna be basic. Now these ones have like been confirmed pretty much by the leakers. What we're getting here is Luke. Wow. Now, who would who would have guessed? Luke Skywalker in his land speeder set. Wow, and another problem with this minifigure is we've had it a lot. Almost every year. Well actually every year we've had this minifigure pretty much for the past three years almost. And that's a lot. That's a lot of uh, Luke's in the land speeder outfit. And enough is enough. <laughs> and we're also getting C3PO. Yeah, we've, we've had a lot of this guy as well. What exciting exclusive minifigures. I think Lego should have released like one exclusive minifigure, maybe like a Tuscan Road of a cool print or something. Or a Bant. No, I don't think it'll look. Maybe like a, a Jawa for custom print. I don't know, something like really seal the deal for set. Maybe one of those droids from the. um. Sand call could have been on the set and been exclusive or something. But nope. Oh, even better, what they could have done is they could have had an R2D2 with the uh, little thing on him. The constructor belt, whatever, that stops him from moving. Even that would have been better than the minifigs they've got here. I like one little tiny print of a circle on him. Could have been so good. But no, they just decided to skimp out on us. But what do you expect? It's Lego. <laughs> Alright, guys, I was thinking about for the outro. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, little video about the UCS Luke's Land Speeder. Yeah, it's... I can't believe we're doing this next year, but anyway, let me know if you're gonna pick it up or not. Personally, I don't know. I don't really collect UCS sets. I wanted to play scale things, and this is really a turn-off anyway, so... I'll see you guys next time. See you!